Hello and welcome along. Today on Old Streams, we are going to finish off our work on field uh, five, I think it is. Uh, we're going to go and plant some sugar beet in it so that we have something to feed our pigs. Uh, so let's uh, just double check that that's right. Yep, yeah, so it's field five. Uh, we are going to uh, get the Massey here and, uh, and go and uh, seed that with some sugar beet. So let's get it loaded up because there's not much seed left in that Massey. And, uh, and once we've done that, we'll be able to, uh, to feed the pigs fully and get them up to full productivity. Uh, which will be fantastic. We are not straight onto that. There we go. Pick that up off there. So we'll take just about this entire bag, I think. Oh. Oh. No. I think it's done. Yeah, it's done. Hopefully that'll be enough to do this field. <clears throat> we got a similar size field done earlier, so... Uh, something of note that I hadn't noticed previously when I played this map, and of course uh, I updated the version of this map recently, is uh, we have a gold nugget there. So it looks like gold nu nuggets have been added to old streams. So nugget hunt at some point maybe. But for now, let's go do some planting. Uh, so while we're on our way, I want to switch our what we're seeding to sugar beet. And then we'll head up to the field and get started. like to say welcome to all the new people who are watching uh, watching these videos and watching my channel. Uh, I hope you're enjoying them. Uh, yeah, it's nice to have you along. Oh, no, we don't want to pass him. There we go. We'll head down to the far side of the field. get our GPS on and uh, and then we can get working on it perfect uh, right I'm gonna turn that off and there we go so that on that on that down and away we go. Yep, there we are. Oh, no. Ah, I see it. That's the thing about oh, using the GPS. Should hopefully keep us on the straight and narrow. Although, as I said that, I definitely was not staying on the straight and narrow. There we go. That should do us. Yeah, that does us nicely. So it's it's <laughs> we're uh, we're doing a lot of sugar beet at the moment. We did um, I did a live stream last night, 
where we uh, where we basically did sugar beet the entire live stream. Um, I think to get this up is going to take something similar. Uh, sugar beet is really actually quite time intensive. The uh, especially if you have a full yield because it fills up your trailers really quickly. And as a result, you're you're doing a lot of backward and forwards, very quick, very early on, and very quickly. And and we had yesterday, I had nearly a trailer full for uh, one and a half headland, which is a crazy amount. So the yield, the full yield for sugar beet, is really quite high, which makes up for for its low cost. It does mean doing a lot of carting. There we go. Let's have a look at this from the outside. at that angle very often uh, so yeah it's it's but it is it's very cost-effective sugar beet you can hire the equipment to do it have it all up even though it takes a while to do it and uh, and sell it all and make far more than you uh, than you spent renting it which is excellent. That is just fantastic. We are, yeah, we are seeding. <coughs> Which is great for, makes it better than potatoes for, uh, for feeding the pigs with because uh, the potato harvester is so awful. The little one. Uh, obviously, if you were to hire the big one, it wouldn't be so cost effective. You need to do, uh, yeah. You need to do a lot more work. You need a couple of fields to make that using that machine effective, which is, uh, which is, yeah, the da big downside to it. But it's nice machines though. At that size, at that larger size, the uh, self-propelled potato harvester and the self-propelled. Um, uh, sugar beet harvesters are very nice machines. Uh, we will probably end up using those, uh, one or both of those, on uh, Chellington, I think. If if we do sugar beets or potatoes on either of those uh, on on that map. Because of course the downside on that map is the fields are huge, and uh, and the idea of doing uh, sugar beet or potatoes on a, on a map with fields that size gives me a uh, uh, yeah a little bit of a shiver. That's a lot of work. We're going to have to though because we're going to need um, again sugar beet or potatoes. For the pigs. So there we go, and down, and away we go.
is working quite well. Like this. So this both seeds and fertilizers. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, so we'll get our first stage fertilizer in with this. Probably. I need. I'm going to need a weeder or something like that at some point. And I've not used one yet, so I'm tempted to get it to do this. Seeing as, uh, seeing as this would, would be a crop you'd probably weed anyway. I think it would be a good one to try the weeder on. We, we, the one thing, of course, we don't have because you have to do weeding at first growth stage. We don't have a tractor with narrow tires. I don't think this one might have them. But uh, yeah, no tractor with narrow tires on our farm as yet. There we go. Yeah, that's right. I was worried I wasn't seeding for a moment. So we've got a lot of harvest to do sh on this map shortly. Uh, we have to. <coughs> we have two maps of um, two maps, two fields. Uh, one of corn and one of barley. I want to say. I can't remember now, to be honest. Uh, so those will need harvesting at some point in the near future. And of course we have this field of sugar beet. That we'll need doing as well. Uh, we need to keep um, fertilizing all of them. Uh, the other two fields are fertilized for the growth stage they're at. Uh, and of course this is being fertilized as we plant it. It takes, it doesn't put a lot of fertilizer, it doesn't use a lot of fertilizer this. It's, uh, we may have to go and get, from the looks of it, uh, the bag of seed though. Because that's down to 29% and we're only about halfway through the field. So we need to look into that, I think. I'll probably have to run over and grab it. That's right, we can drive we can drive the other tractor over here with the uh, pallet on the front. Just have to drive carefully, that's all. We're leaving ourselves a nice amount of space to turn around. And hopefully we won't have to do too much headlands. Too much headland. Uh, it does seem to be working quite well. Have a look at these when we get down here. Yeah, there's two, maybe three headlands to do here.
Alright, cool. Some nice shots here. This episode is pretty much going to be spent doing uh, this seeding. Oh, there we go. I don't want to run off the end of the field. That would not be wise. Away we go again. So we're down to 9%, yeah. We're going to have to run back to the yard and grab the cedar. Oh, sorry, not the cedar. The front loader with some seed on the front of it. I think we're, we're not going to make the rest of this field. Which I find intriguing because we did the whole of field 15. I suppose field 15, yeah. Maybe a little bit smaller, but... I still find that interesting. That the 15, we definitely made the whole thing. But uh, this we haven't. So this is our, so this is our biggest field, and we're seeding it with uh, with sugar beet. That does not bode well for time-wise on this field. We are quick. Yeah, we're going to be spending some time getting the sugar beet off this. And I think that's definitely going to have to be a live stream rather than a rather than an episode. Um, we'd never, we'll never be able to get this all up in uh, in anything more than a couple of hours, I think. And that, and, and doing it as an episode, that unfortunately would mean either... Um, that's interesting. Uh, that unfortunately would mean either uh, cutting lots of it out or taking nearly two weeks worth of episodes to do. Oh, we're out. We're out of seed. Okay. Let's park this here for now. And uh, just jump over to here. And we'll bring this bag of seeds to the field. Like so. Because we are in need of some seed. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, uh, those who haven't been in the live streams, um, you should join us because it's great fun. Uh, but also, uh, Rainbow Dave has been uh, pushing for uh, for us to reach 500 subscribers by uh, 23rd of December because. I, for some reason, have agreed that I will sing Christmas carols in stream if I uh, if we reach that number. Uh, because, partly because, wow, I will be massively happy if we reach that number by 23rd of December. So, uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Um, <laughs> please, yeah, please subscribe. Uh, it would be wonderful to, to be able to celebrate something like that just before Christmas. Right, there we are. Is that filled? That's filled it again. So we will just park here for now there we go right we need to head back down the other end of the field because I think it stopped halfway through the through this side yeah there we go Stopped about that.
And away we go. We're back up and running. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. I can't believe I did most of a row without realising we'd run out of seed. That's uh, that's not great. There we are. We are turning. I'm enjoying driving this Massey. This Massey is a great little tractor. Um, obviously, it's it's a stock uh, game tractor. There's not a lot of great modded tractors out at the moment. I am using just one of them on this map, I think, which is the Fent. What's our other tractor? Not got a, we've not got a Vulture on this map. Oh, I've forgotten what my other tractor is on this map. That's... Oh, yes. It's a modded tractor. It's the uh, International, of course. Which are great, is, is a great modded tractor. So, actually, the majority of our... Whoops. Majority of our tractors on this map... We have to reverse right up because I've mucked that up. Right, there we go. W V. There we go. So this is this is our only stock tractor. Um, I re I really like the look of the masses. The modern the modern masses look quite nice. I think. Uh, the modern masses look very nice. I think. I still prefer my uh, my New Hollands. But uh, yeah, masses are okay. There we go. I think it might be because the masses look a bit like the New Hollands. Yeah, that 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 certainly helps. But I'm I'm being impressed um, by all of the new tractor makes in fifth uh, in seventeen. They are there's a nice variety in the game now, a very nice variety in the game. And to have uh, you can you can pretty much stock a farm with all of one make uh, there are some exceptions of course uh, Deutz you'll find uh, a little bit difficult to do that with um, being only two tractors but you could uh, Sammy's only got one yeah you, you but you you'll have you would have to go to some more obscure makes to do that so Certainly the main ones, New Holland, Massey, Fent, uh, Vultra, uh, all those you could uh, set up your farm with just vehicles from those. Uh, Case, another one you could, uh, that has multiple vehicles of uh, uh, multiple sizes in the game. So, yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty well covered there's a lot of vehicles in it now and a lot of brands too so both uh, variety t uh, variety as well very nice variety I don't know how they're gonna top this in a couple of years I think it's it'll have to be a uh, it's going to be a new graphics engine or something like that. I think it'll have to be. Uh, not that not that this graphics engine, I think, is particularly showing its age. From what I understand, it's very similar. Uh, it's basically the same engine to um, uh, as they have had, they had originally, which 
Having watched watched Irish's stream last night and watched the, him play the fir, very first version of Farming Simulator, I, it's incredible how far this game has come. I mean, absolutely amazing. There is. It just is so incredibly different. I mean, it's nine uh, nine years, I think, because uh, I think the first the first one was 08. Um, I would have been hard pressed to 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 play it. I think uh, for 08. One of the things that that I liked about 15 was uh, was how much it made me feel like I was farming and how how realistic to me that game felt. Uh, 17 takes that to another level. I just completely takes that to another level. Um, but uh, the first version of Farm Sim, the, the 08 version of Farm Sim. Wow, I I didn't know. It it looks a bit to me like a um, a mid 90s game. And I can understand they've refined it and they've uh, you know you wouldn't you wouldn't have 17 without having that first version but it is just incredible we are getting to the thinner part of the field and then we're going to have the headlands to do we are uh, we're about 27 minutes into the video into this video oh didn't reverse up far enough. So there's still, still a lot to do in this, actually. But it's good to know that I can I can just about get this field either cultivated or seeded or you know things like that in a in a in a video length. Um, obviously, one of the, one of the things I can't do is I can't uh, get it harvested with sugar beet because uh, yeah. Should be sugar beet harvest takes a while, as I mentioned earlier in the video. I've got caught up by that before. And that can be very annoying. Well, this is definitely a thinner part of the field now. Where are we? Uh, I think the first job we're going to have to do next episode is our uh, is sorting our animals out. Wow, we came a long way into the field for that turn. That's going to be a big patch to clean up. Uh, is our animals, because if we're going overnight, our animals will get very mucky. I didn't go far enough. Uh, so that will be certainly be the start of the next episode. I'm not sure, though, exactly. I, th I think we'll probably be doing some fertilising. Because if it's overnight, we'll have a growth stage at least, and uh, and in that case, we need to we'll need to put some fertilizer on it, make sure that we get our maximum yields for our crops, and uh, yeah, that will be. So I think that's that will probably be the focus of the next episode. We'll be uh, fertilizing and uh, and animal maintenance. Uh, but of course we're not finished on this episode yet a little bit more of this field uh, doing and getting this last little bit of sugar beet in uh, we're using up a lot of seed again I think we might have to I think it might be wise to go back to our front loader before we do the headlands and just top us up uh, because we're down to 22% already. 
Admittedly, we've not got a, a lot of field left, but still, that's quite a lot of field, uh, quite uh, a little amount of uh, seed for what we do have. Because the headlands can be really uh, misleading on how much uh, they will take and they need to take. There we go. Otherwise, we'll never turn around. Yeah. yeah, this is a bit of an odd shape bit here. Playing havoc with me uh, working out where I need to uh, need to start the drilling. There we go. I should really kind of turn and have a look when I do that. That's why head tracking would be so nice. To not have to use the mouse to, to turn to look. Oh, I don't think... Ah, oh, we didn't put the GPS on properly that time. I'm going to have a row. Yep, I have a row. I'll have to clean that up in a moment. There's quite a large bump in the field there as well. These fields are... The fields on this map in places are... Extremely bumpy. And I don't mean the normal sort of rolling setup of the land. This is... These are... Absolutely huge great bump in the field. Which is what we have here. I mean that's a... That's a massive drop. Oh, I haven't picked that up. There we go. I'm not sure we did any seeding that time. I think I don't think we put the seeder down. We did this time, definitely. Yeah, we. Uh, I can see there. I didn't pick it up. That's why. Right. So, we are almost on to doing the headlands. We definitely don't... I don't, don't think we have enough to do the headlands. Yeah, that's already telling me it's at the edge of the field before I start. One more, I think. And that should do it. Right, and we will go and get our fork trailer. So we'll just put this here. Start this up. And head along our dirt track here. Whoa, these are very bumpy roads. I think this is exactly what I'd like to do or to use on my map is a bit of road like this there are a couple of places where it would be appropriate there we go fill that really doesn't take a lot Okay. So position ourselves down and away we go. So we don't need that anymore. Just want to make sure I'm getting everything. Obviously we've got that big hole there, but I'm going to have to fix that separately, I think. Well, difficult to see I'm getting everything with this. There we go. Ah, that's brilliant. That really highlights where we need to do and where we have been that's not bad actually yep 
Yeah, it's going to take three. That's all right. We're going to finish at the other corner then. We'll just skip around the edge of the field when we need to do that. One more pass on this headland. And that will be the headland. This this side of the headland done. The other side is going to be a little bit longer, I think. We're just going to nip round the, the grass on the end here. Yeah, there we go. Catch all these end bits here, square it off. around the other way. Yeah, we're losing light quickly now. In game. So it's definitely going to be moving on to the next game day. Next episode. Just got a little slither to finish off down the side here. Right, and then this bit. There's a couple of bits where we missed a, a little bit at the end, but. So there should only be three runs of this. And I think... It'll take a couple to do this. But the end one here, I think, is only going to really take about one. It's uh, it's quite a thin run we've got on the end of the field. Yeah. So this here, just finish that off. There we go. And we just cut so it just come up to this corner here and that will be where we will end because our field will be done. Oh, I'm gonna have to There's a patch here. That's quite a big patch. It's not going to be perfectly covered for that. Yeah, there we go. And 
and then we'll just get this last little bit. And that does us. So, pick it up and turn around. And we'll park up. So, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel if you are not already. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.